Hi guys, this is Pestilli and welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. In this video, I'm covering uh, the time that I looted 100 filing cabinets and I've got all the data here. By 100 filing cabinets, I mean each and every single drawer uh, in total of four is one filing cabinet. So I looted 400 drawers over Shoreline and Labs and here are the results. So guys, without further ado, let's crack straight into it. So the route that I took to loot these filing cabinets, I pretty much focused on two main buildings, the admin building of the resort, as well as the radar tower, which is located on the road custom side of Shoreline. I also went down to the pier a couple of times because um, there's some filing cabinets down there. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll have in the background right now you, uh, showing the actual locations. I'll chuck a little mini map if you're interested. Uh, and, and I pretty much just did my Shoreline route and just uh, tapped into these filing cabinets and just did my normal loot. So they were kind of supplementing my already money runs. Also, whilst I was in labs, uh, there's filing cabinets throughout this whole map. And I just looted them as I went through labs from time to time. But all these, what I can say here is, uh, these are the screenshots. Of, I used the screenshots from 100 consecutive filing cabinets. So it wasn't like I just did some one day, looted some filing cabinets, didn't take screenshots another day, and then looted some more on a following day. This is 100 consecutive filing cabinets. Now, I just want to note here that the wiki guys said that the filing cabinets on Shoreline and Labs are the only ones that can spawn the access cards, but they aren't certain of it. So if you guys do know that you can get access cards from a different map, filing cabinets, feel free to check that down in the comments below just to confirm it. Um, but the wiki guys from their data mining said that you can't. I will put a link down below as well to the filing cabinet drawers so you can actually see the percentages of their drop rates that are meant to happen. But these are the ones that I got. Now, as you can see on the screen here, there is a list of all the uh, items I found throughout the filing cabinets. Now, this is how many I found in each individual drawer uh, over the looting process. So um, I've worked it out that the percentage of finding it in a single drawer and not an entire filing cabinet because you could times these numbers by four uh, to get the exact number. But the standout items that are pretty much fairly consistent, crickets are around 30% per draw, matches around the 21%, and white tape around the 14%. After that, a lot of the numbers drop below 10%, um, but I did actually find some quite rare items, but the, the standout one for me was I didn't find any access cards. Now, in the past, I've done looting on uh, filing cabinets in Shoreline and Labs, and I've found a heap of them. But I did 100 consecutive filing cabinets, 400 draws, did not find a single access card. Uh, I know the wiki page says it's like the 7% mark for a draw. I don't know. This is just my results, and obviously it's only a small, um, small loot pool because of the fact that there was... Uh, there was only 100 filing cabinets when you really, to get the proper numbers, you'd probably want to do something like five or 10,000 really. Um, also, another thing was 102 of these drawers. So a quarter of the drawers in total were completely empty. So it's, it's like a one in four chance it's going to be empty. And then when it does have stuff, they usually did have two or three items in them. Sometimes four, but usually around the two to three mark. Something else that was quite interesting is about 4% of the time it either had euros or dollars in there. And uh, they did actually add up overall. Now, the good thing about when you do get money, um, they're between 40 and about $100 uh, or euros. And because that's times 100 for the rubles conversion, you actually are getting quite a solid stack of cash there. Um, and if you do have a docs case, it does work out quite well. When it comes to keys, some keys were found a lot more than others. Um, the 203 and 220 keys were the standout ones. I've got six and five of them. And then other ones were around the one to two mark with the customs key and the gas station key coming in at three times. Um, these are the two keys that actually have some value. The gas station key at the moment sitting around the 70,000 ruble mark. Customs keys around the 20,000 ruble mark. So I actually went and found out all the item values for all these uh, that we found. The values of the items that are just barter items, I actually just used the therapist sell value. Uh, the keys, I got the price from the cheapest price of uh, keys on the flea market. And then the cash, I just times it by the, the, the rubles value. Um, for, so from 100 filing cabinets, there was a total of 1.21 million rubles uh, worth of loot. Cash, there was around 230,000 rubles worth. And the keys was around the 380,000 mark. So if you add this all together, it's about 1.8 million, which means each filing cabinet has around 18,000 rubles. To, to make that a little bit more uh, simpler, every time you loot a single drawer in uh, a filing cabinet, the average value of that drawer is gonna be around the four and a half thousand ruble mark. 
I don't even know why I know all this data. I It was more of just, I asked in my last video when I looted 100 uh, safes, if you guys wanted me to do something else, and you guys said following cabinet. So here it is. Here's all the information for you. So um, what I can get from this is you do get a lot of your barter items from here. The really good barter items don't seem to spawn very often. And the ones that you will probably will want, you'll want to find in uh, other locations, probably like Interchange. Um, unfortunately, the main focus that I think you would want to loot filing cabinets for is stuff like the customs key and, and that early. If you're not using an actual, uh, if, you, if you don't want to use the flea market. Um, but when it comes to say something like a gas analyzer or uh, anything like that, it's actually really low chance to find a gas analyzer. I think it was sitting around the 1% mark uh, per drawer. So there's a, it's, it's, it's going to take a long time to farm those specific items using filing cabinets. Now, if I was to find a few access keys, which I think I got really unlucky, but if I was to say find two, three, or four access keys, this would shoot up the value quite considerably. Um, and so I do believe filing captures are still worth looting uh, if you want to search for those access keys. But they're more of a top-up kind of loot for me if I was to ever loot them from here. But they're actually really good for leveling up your attention skill because uh, every time you find an item, it, every item is 0.1 of a skill point. So... Going through a lot of filing cabinets can level up your attention skill quite quickly, which helps you search other containers faster, including uh, players. So guys, I'm going to try and keep this fairly short and sweet. Um, if you guys got any questions about it, feel free to chuck it down in the comments below. But um, I'm done to death with looting filing cabinets. I don't really want to do that. If you if you want, I can even put the 400 uh, screenshots up somewhere if you really want to like get excited over that stuff. Um, I might do duffel bags. I'm kind of curious now where where the cigarettes sit in duffel bags. So I know a lot of people will be trying to find the the duffel uh, the cigarettes, and I think duffel bags are pretty good for that, and maybe jackets. So maybe I'll go over the next few weeks. I'll loot every single duffel bag and jacket and build up a collection so I can make videos on that if you guys are interested. So guys, thanks for watching another video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for future content. I do stream on Twitch every day of the week. So go down to the link below. Give me a follow there. If you've got any or questions, feel free to hit me up on my live stream or down in the comments below. And lastly, I'll see you next time. This is a crucial moment in the heat of the war. To fly and hit our targets down in the waves.